hello hi welcome to my channel i hope everyone is doing great today so today i'm doing something new i have not done a video like this before on my channel and it is basically me showing you guys how i come up with my budget for the weeks so i get paid weekly I, every thursday so i get four paychecks a month <clears throat> and i budget out each paycheck every week so i hope you guys enjoy this content if you're new here and if you are a returning subscriber i hope you also enjoy this content because it's my first time doing it so basically i set up my paper i draw my lines oops i didn't need to draw it that far down <laughs> but i draw my lines so right here would be my bills and then I try to make enough room for me to write out everything, which these four lines for the week are just gonna be numbers. So they don't need to be that big. All right, so this will be bills. This will be week one this is week two this is week three i, I mean i made too much space for my bills <clears throat> and then we need week four and our total so i'm just going to try to split them in half so week four and then our total so i usually write at the top sorry you guys if you guys can hear that there's a train going by but I usually write at the top so this will be for May so May budget budget can't spell all right so for mortgage mortgage for the month gets 566 phone for the month it gets 80 utilities is 174 now because i'm doing a month ahead i'm budgeting out my paychecks from may but the bills are going to be paid in june so all of these bills are for the month of june so I don't have my bills yet for the month of June. So I'm going based off my bills that are due in May. So for May, my utilities were 174 altogether. So that's what I'm budgeting for the month of June. So once my bills come in for the month of June, I'll be able to adjust it. So car insurance is getting 80 or my bill is $80. Internet, I budget 60 just to be on the safe side, but it's usually 40. Gym gets $10. Netflix gets $11. Gas gets 150. Groceries, gets 200 eating out gets 220 shopping gets 150 I'm starting to think I'm budgeting too much for shopping but I'm gonna leave it at 150 for now and see what happens miscellaneous is getting 60 um Savings is 200. Acorns is 205. And Canva, I keep meaning to put Canva up there with Netflix. So Canva gets 14 or is 14 hours on. <laughs> All right, so how I do it, let me see if I can. Try to see a little better. Hopefully that's better. All 
Okay. So what I do is take my mortgage, which is 566, and I divide it by four. So when I divide it by four, I get $141.50. So I round it up to 142. So each week I am stuffing 142 for the mortgage. And because I'm stuffing 142, I'm rounding it up. My total would be at the end of the month, 168. So for phone, if we divide it by four, it should be $20. So 80 divided by four equals $20. So for each week, I'm stuffing $20 for my phone bill and that should give us 80. For utilities is 174. 174 divided by four is um, 4350. So I would round that up to 44. So each week I am stuffing 44 for utilities. And let's see, 44 times four equals 176. For car insurance, same as phone, it's $80 a month. So I'm stuffing $20 a week, which gives me 80. For internet, I'm stuffing $15 a week, which is gonna give me 60. For gym, I've decided that I'm just gonna pick a week that I wanna stuff my um, gym Netflix is it Jim and Netflix? Oh yeah, Jim, Netflix, and Canva. So I'm gonna pick a week where I just stuff the whole full amount. So for Jim, I just stuff the full amount of ten dollars for the first week, which means the following weeks will get zero. That'll add up to ten. So for Netflix, the first week will get zero. The second week will get the full eleven, and then following weeks I will not have to stuff. So that gives me eleven. For gas, I am going to stuff, hmm, I'm going to do 50 the first, I'm just going to do 50 the first three weeks, 50 the first three weeks, so the last week will get zero, and that'll leave me with 150. For groceries, last month I did 100 the first week, 50 the second week, 50 the third week, and then the last week I got zero. So I'm going to do the same thing and see how that works out for me. It worked out pretty good. So I did overspend, I think, only about $4. And the last week, even though I stuffed zero, um, I didn't need it anyway. So I haven't gone grocery shopping since I've overspent. So that worked out fine. So that'll be 200. Eating out gets 55 a week. So I know that 55 times four equals 220. So that's what I'm getting for the month. 220 shopping. Shopping is gonna get 50 the first three weeks. My book just fell off the table. The last week will get zero, so that's 150 for the month. Miscellaneous is the same as internet, it's 15 a week, which gives me 60 for the month. Savings is going to get 50 a week, which gives me 200 for the month. Acorns will get 50. The first three weeks and then the last week we'll get 55 to account for the $5 subscription fee. So that'll be 205 And then Canva is not going to get anything the first or the second week because that's when I'm stuffing Jim and Netflix. So the third week we'll get uh, $14 for Canva and then $0 the last week and that'll give us $14. So... That is how I budget for the month, my monthly budget um, spread out into weeks. And 
that is it. So then when I do my monthly budget, when I do my monthly budget, I get my budget book. And then let's say like four to this. And then I'll go through, write down my bills, my variable expenses, and what I'm stuffing for this paycheck, which will be exactly what I went over on this sheet. So for week one, that'll be 142, 20, 44, 20, and 15 for bills. And then for variable expenses, it'll be 10, 50, 100, 55, 50, 15. And then for my savings, it'll be 50 and 50. And then whatever is left after I pay my bills, that's what I'll put towards my savings challenge. So I hope that made sense and I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comment section. Um, if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.